everyone, it's Majub Jr. It has been an incredible amount of time since the previous video I made, which I believe is on World War II. But hopefully now I can get back into a somewhat normal schedule again. But regardless of that, during my time with Black Ops 4 over the past few months, one massively overlooked aspect I found is the recoil reducing properties of certain optical sights in the game. If you are unaware, a large variety of the optics that offer magnification in particular directly alter recoil in a similar fashion to the foregrip. However, the effectiveness of this recoil reduction in comparison to the traditional foregrips is never officially stated and so it might prove useful to test this manually to see how effective each optic is and if they're worth the investment. And now, without any further delay, a total of 27 different setups were used to get a full picture of how different sights affect different weapons, and how they contrast with the grip attachment. Using the ICR as the prime example, thanks to its wide range of attachments, the base ICR is known for its modest amount of recoil that is easy to control due to the sideways recoil being kept to a minimum. However, this recoil can be further improved as with the grip, the vertical drift is cut approximately in half, and while grip 2 reduces the recoil to almost zero. Now in summary, after using every optical attachment on the ICR, the red dot, holographic, NVIR, and ELO resulted in no or negligible results. However, this is rather perplexing since the holographic and elo site were noted to affect recoil in a previous patch note, but any such effect of this is not really observable here. However, when it comes to both the dual zoom and recon sites, something interesting happens. As since these two sites dramatically reduce recoil by about the same amount as grip 1. Therefore, it might be of interest to use one of these two sites to reduce recoil to free up an attachment slot, perhaps? Or possibly combine the grip and sight to further recoil reduction. However, to get the full picture, it is necessary to experiment how these sights affect different weapons with different fire rates or recoil magnitudes. And especially those who actually lack a foregrip attachment. In particular, I looked at some high recoil weapons such as the Hades Spitfire, but also some other guns including DMRs and other SMGs, and along with the SDM. The trend that I found here is that with higher recoil weapons, and especially those with slower fire rates, is that optics apply a much more noticeable effect, making recoil patterns much more tamed. The dual zoom and recon sights will still proceed to reduce recoil in half, or slightly more so, which can be very helpful on weapons like the Rampart, Vapor, or Hades, since they can be made to be even more viable at a medium range, which can prove to be very beneficial. However, for SMGs, equipping these higher zoom optics can be cumbersome and awkward at a close range. While the short range aspect of SMGs will often leave you disadvantaged in most mid to long range engagements. Despite this, I still recommend giving them a shot on SMGs, as it still increases accuracy by a fair amount, and it is possible to get past the awkward handling with practice. Also, the holographic still doesn't do much in reducing recoil here but it can more or less clean up the spread by a slight amount, and so it might be a considerable choice. On the other hand, the ELO introduces a surprising increase in recoil drift in the faster firing weapons, especially those like the Spitfire or the Hades, and thus it might be a considerable choice to pick a simple red dot over the ELO in this circumstance, and it is a tip I highly recommend. In closing, if the goal is to reduce recoil, 
The recon and dual zoom are the most effective options at hand. However, out of the two, the most convenient choice goes to the dual zoom due to its lower magnification at 1.5 times, which makes it a lot easier to adjust to, while also being able to zoom in to 3.0 times, which can make it more convenient if the situation needs. This is also coupled with the fact that it is just more widely available than the recon sight, which makes it more readily available. But that's all for now. If you found this video useful, feel free to give a like or share this video. Every little bit helps. And as always, thanks for stopping by and until the next one.